Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions on this last trading day of the year, still a bullish in a bull market, overall uptrend still solidly in place. Uh, just towards the upper end of that range now, we've got uh, sentiment, breadth, momentum, again, all climbing. We've had uh, this real nice uptrend rally from uh, essentially October, the end of October uh, to where we're at now. So just sitting at the upper end of that range and a uh, pretty quiet week this week. We'll look at another S&P chart. Momentum still hovering right around that upper end of that bullish trend, not extreme. Uh, breadth is still extreme in that upper zone and so is sentiment. So those two uh, uh, breadth and sentiment are going to continue to, to hold the market back in terms of upside Momentum could have one more spike up to that upper level, but uh, all three uh, need to pull back just a little bit more to create a little bit more sustainable uptrend for us going forward. buy sell ratio also very extreme right here, bumped up to uh, 7.34. And as you can see, within this last year, this last rally that we had early in the year uh, spiked up to those levels as well. And uh, they we typically get you know, two or three spikes uh, within the overall trends here. This one, this last one, this bearish trend lasted quite a while. And so far, this one's lasting quite some time. And it's got some nice extension here. This is there's two parts to, to this. And one, the, the, the bullish part of this is that, yes, we've got really, really good breadth. We've got a huge number of stocks to the upside. And that is bullish for the overall market as a whole, because that is a massive uh, trend in terms of really across the board, large cap, mid cap, small cap. On the, on the flip side of that, it's too extreme at this point. So it needs a little bit of a pause here to be able to consolidate some of these gains and allow for a, a new fresh base to develop uh, so that we can get a little more demand for that upside. Let's take a look at S&P 500. Here's, an, here's another example. Uh, uh, actually, let's go to uh, sectors I wanted to look at. Now, let's look at indices because you see there there's just we're just heavily weighted towards this upside. All of these stocks in this buy zone uh, creating these very large buy sell ratios across the board uh, where you've got NASDAQ 100, a vast majority in that overall uptrend. Uh, this, Like I say, this could really create some more demand or some more momentum for upside, uh, but we need a bit of a retracement here. Let's take a look at uh, markets. Let's get a look at SPY and we'll look at bonds here as well. You can see the rank. I'm going to go back to that chart. We can see the rank on some of those other smaller cap <clears throat> indices. In terms of S&P 500, we've got this, this spike sitting here. Now we're out at the, the upper end of this range for both the six month and the and the one year time frame so really powerful rally as i've mentioned before this retracement location we could pull all the way back to that 454 range on spy and still maintain that bullish uptrend and uh, even less than that potentially that 469 range on spy so solid you know ending the year solidly to the upside we'll see what today brings obviously but uh, we're going to finish somewhere in these upper ranges and going into the new year at the top end of this trend. Uh, let's look at bonds, which have really been controlling the narrative here in the last, uh, really in this last rally. Oh, this is the chart here. So we've got NASDAQ, the triple Qs, NASDAQ 100, which are leading in rank. And we've got uh, the Russell 1000, 2000, 3000, all climbing in rank. Uh, so they've, they've definitely had a really powerful rally, but a big part of this overall rally, these, these uh, small cap stocks really leading the way. And uh, uh, that also can be a good thing, considered a risk on type trade where you're getting more and more larger institutional investors looking at uh, some of these more aggressive, risky type stocks. Let's take a quick look at bonds here, see what they did the last couple of days. We've been having a continuation in this rally of bonds. We're now we're still in this uh, downtrend here in the, on the one year time frame on TLT. Uh, we've turned this corner and now we're moving back up this direction. And uh, we, we've got this resistance area that we've been talking about now that we've bumped up a, a, above around $99 on TLT, which is the long term treasury. And we are uh, potentially being able to find that new support now at that 99 level. So we'll see if bonds just hold this support level and instead of you know retracing aggressively back down to the downside, uh, something we don't want to see right here, but we certainly could use a consolidation for some things just to um, 
to uh, to level out right here. Sectors, uh, not much happening here either uh, as far as anything positive or negative. Uh, energy has been bumping around here towards the bottom end of this range. We certainly know that. And this is actually one of the things I'd mentioned before where we want to see, we'll, we'll look at the USO chart, but we want to see a pullback here in energy back down to potentially this 43 range on IYE, which is that energy ETF, creating that bottoming formation. That bo That's a bottoming pattern right here when we can get this strong rally. We're, we're finding resistance. If we pull back down to that 43 and create some support and then start to move back up again, uh, could be bullish for energy right here. So it's setting up that way. I'd keep a close eye on energy and then also on uh, the commodity sector, which we've been talking about. Let's look at gold, which is leading nicely and potentially looking for a breakout continuation in gold uh, on that one-year time frame on that longer term a chart if we go out a little bit longer term here you can see this uh, the high a couple of years ago in gold is just it's being flirted with right here and so if we can see a breakout of 193 on gld could see some continuation on uh, gold as well let's just jump back really quick and take a look at uh, USO, which is the oil ETF, and we will see what's happening here. You can see where it's been on this two-year time frame, uh, that upper end of that range. That's really when oil kind of topped out, had the strong rally here again. We come in and just to this shorter time frame uh, and seeing, I'm going to actually go back to that and get rid of this volume bar and we can get a little bit better visual here so a similar type idea on oil drop two and a half percent but watch to see now if we can create a higher low this low this low being the most recent low if we bounce and find some support around that 67 61 on uso uh, we could also get that bottoming formation on oil which potentially could take it to more upside now the, on the flip side of that it also could be continuing its trend to the downside it's finding the resistance right where it should be and that is right at that uh, fibonacci retracement of 50 percent and uh, and for con some potential continuation of that downtrend that would still be the overall bias since it is in that downtrend uh, and in this this downtrend here watching for the resistance let's take a quick look at some muscle stocks in the group today and uh, we've got not very many in there today. The reason why is because every all of the stocks are um, already in the buy zone. There's not very many that are in sells or even holds. They've all bumped up to that buy zone already. So uh, fewer and fewer stocks in that list, but there are a couple of interesting ones here to take a look at. One of the nice patterns out of this uh, setup today is uh, Lionsgate pattern here on this six month time frame really solid uptrend momentum stock in that upper zone finding some support right around that 1044 range here you can see a little bottoming tail bar and a solid confirmation bar on uh, Lionsgate ticker symbol LGF uh, dot a and uh, interesting for to consider that for today that's a a uh, movie tv production uh, company that'll do it for today's update if you don't have full access to the site and software you can sign up with the link below and we look forward to having you have a fantastic day and happy new year